Hey Pisces, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is your July Tarot card reading, otherwise known as your Deep Thoughts for July. This is a general reading for the sign of Pisces. If you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, this reading very, mel very, very well <laughs> may resonate with you. All right, if this reading does not resonate with you, do not try to make it fit into your life. I don't know what some of y'all are thinking, but I get some comments that, you know, I got a comment the other day that, you know, um, I watched this for me, watched the other one for my husband. It says that we're going to break up. No, y'all, no, that's not how this shit works, okay? It's not how it works. Do not try to make a general reading fit your life, okay? Get a personal reading. You can get a personal reading from me or your favorite tarot card reader. If you want a personal reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you can click the link in the box below and get a $50 reading just like this, just for you, just for your situation until August 1st. After August 1st, my standard $50 tarot card readings are going by the wayside. I have way too many different client bases and it's just so difficult for me to try to keep them all separate. So as of August 1st, everybody will, same, will pay the same price across the board for a tarot card reading, and it will not be. <laughs> it will not be the half price $50 tarot card readings on YouTube. So if you've ever thought about getting a tarot card reading from me, booking a reading before August 1st will lock you into the $50 price. If you are my client, up until August 1st, you will always and forever get the $50 readings. I will send everybody in my client base a special link that will take you to a $50 uh, scheduling website, okay? So that being said, just to reiterate, if you are a client of mine or you become a client of mine before August 1st, you will be forever and always locked into the $50 tarot card readings, okay? After August 1st, no more $50 tarot card readings. And um, yeah, so, and you could even schedule, honestly, you can schedule a tarot card reading in December if you want to, as long as it's scheduled by August 1st, that will lock you into the $50 tarot card reading club. All right. All right, you guys. So here we go. This is your reading for July. I have tried to do this reading a half a dozen times, Pisces, because I'm Pisces, right? Well, I'm Taurus, sun, and I'm Pisces, Pisces rising, Pisces Venus, and a Pisces moon. So um, I don't know why, but I was just, I had a blockage trying to do your reading. But lo and behold, um, here we are, and I do believe that this is definitely on point. Okay, Pisces. So we enter the month of July give or take this reading is gonna this the timeline for this reading is whenever it begins to resonate for you to when it stops resonating for you okay so you know time is pointless in the spirit world right so if this resonates with you it's your reading if it doesn't it's not okay all right so we enter into this reading with justice right there is some kind of karmic justice that has been served to you in your life. This card is about fairness, truth, cause and effect, and universal law, right? To the Ace of Cups in reverse, this is about blocked emotions. To the Magician manifesting, to the Four of Pentacles, control, stability, and security in your life. The Three of Pentacles, because of a lack of teamwork and collaboration, a lack of fulfillment in some type of situation, that caused the Three of Swords, that caused painful separation, sorrow, grief, rejection, maybe even some heartbreak, right? So just to reiterate this top row, there has been some justice that has been served in your life. You have blocked your emotions in this particular situation. And I don't mean in an unhealthy way. You just blocked your feels. You just, you just flip the light switch. You close the door. You no longer feel in this situation. 
So justice is served. You've blocked your emotions in order to manifest control, stability, and security in your life. What you have blocked is a situation where there was no fulfillment or a lack of teamwork and collaboration that created a lack of fulfillment. Three of Swords says that it was probably some painful separation, sorrow, heartbreak, grief, um, whatever it was for you, okay? But you've blocked it and you're moving on from this situation. This whole situation was a tower moment for you. It was a tower moment. And I get the feeling that it spans the, the, the breadth of a tower moment, okay? The entire breadth, not breadth, breadth, breadth of the tower moment. This is, this was, or is, or will be a sudden change for you. Upheaval, maybe a bit of chaos, definitely a revelation and an awakening, and quite frankly, some personal transformation, right? This tower moment is about you moving on from a situation, moving on from this situation, whatever this was up here for you, you're moving on from it, right? Blocked your emotions, heading on down the road. Two of Wands comes in and says you are planning for your future and you're not even looking back, Pisces. Look, see this guy looking this way? He's not looking back on any of this, right? He's like, fuck this, fuck that, fuck you. I am so out of here with the five of cups. So you are moving on. You're planning for your future. And then the star card comes in and says, what a bright future you have, Pisces. Hope, faith, purpose, renewal, and spirituality. Any one of the above or all of them, right? Never fear. The star is here, Pisces. Strength. Was this easy to do? Nah, it wasn't easy to do. But you know what? You did it anyway because you trust. The strength card to me is also about trusting, right? Because this little girl and this lion, she's petting him like he's a house cat. He's loving it like he's a house cat. And there is absolute trust between these two entities. This speaks to me of trusting your intuition, trusting your path, trusting your inner guidance system, right? So was it easy? No, but you did it anyway because you trust that there is that this was not your path. This was not where you're supposed to be right now. King of Cups in the middle of your readings, all up in your feels, but not in an out of control way. This card is about emotional balance and control. And that's what you did when you blocked those emotions right there. When you cut those emotions off, this entire reading revolves around this King of Cups, emotional balance and control. This King of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. And that is what you are after. Pisces, that's what you're after. And the Ten of Cups, right? Harmony, happiness, values alignment in your relationships, which is not what you had in this situation up here. Two of Cups in reverse. This Two of Cups is about a breakup. This Two of Cups in reverse is all about an imbalance in a relationship or lack of harmony in your life. So you left this situation up here either because it was a true breakup, whether that be with a love interest, a job, a family member, right? You can break up with a family member. You know, I've, I've known people who broke up with their kids, right? <laughs> so it's a breakup, an imbalance in a relationship and lack of harmony in your life. To the devil card, this up here was a an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. And you realized that that's your justice right there. This devil card is your justice. The realization that this attachment is a restriction to your personal growth. You cut the feels off. You manifested control, security, and stability in your life. Okay. Because lots of conflict, too much conflict, way too much static, right? Don't start none, won't be none. Static, way too much static going on in your life right there. 
to the nine of swords in reverse chalking this shit up as a painful lesson right not all of the lessons that we learn in life are beautiful and 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 something that we really want to remember okay this was a painful lesson but nevertheless it was a lesson, Pisces. So if you haven't evaluated this situation and figured out what it is that you have learned from it, you need to do that. And if this hasn't broke open for you yet, remember when you're going through this, that this is a lesson for you, a stepping stone to create a bigger, stronger, better Pisces, right? To the Six of Swords, regretful, yeah, but necessary transition in your life. What's up now? Well, the 10 of pentacles, Pisces, that's what's up now. <laughs> the 10 of freaking pentacles, right? Wealth, inheritance, family, establishment, building a future, um, um, creating for yourself everything that you want in your life. Clarified by the hangman. This is pausing processing, surrendering, and coming out on the other side with a new perspective, right? That's what this transition is. This transition is this hangman right here, right? Pausing, surrendering, processing, coming out on the other side with a new direction, a new way of thinking. To the Ace of Pentacles, you're going to manifest new opportunities in your life, all on your own, all by yourself. To the Queen of Cups, this is all about emotional security, being calm, cool, collected, and knowing that you know that you know that you are in the right place at the right time, doing what is right in your life, directly underneath the star card, hope, faith, purpose, spirituality, and renewal. To the Lover's card. Is this about love? Yes. Are you looking for a love relationship? Perhaps this is a love relationship coming into your life. But most importantly, this is about values alignment and choices, right? This situation up here helped to align your values to your highest and best good with this 10 of pentacles, the star, the nine of cups, the 10 of cups, right? The devil even, right? A realignment of values because there was an attachment that was a restriction to your personal growth. Again, to the Four of Pentacles. This Four of Pentacles is about control, stability, security in your life. It's also about self-protection as well, right? And, and that can kind of lead into this a little bit, right? You needed to protect yourself from this situation and you did chariot comes in forward motion locomotion right starting to starting to move on forward and take action into your future pisces and look we have the queen of cups again the queen of cups again right underneath this king of cups it's just reiterating. So you have the Queen of Cups twice and the King of Cups. This is reiterating that you are in a really good emotional place. Emotional security, calm, cool, collected, knowing that you know that you know. To the Nine of Swords. What? What's this Nine of Swords about? Where's this anxiety coming from right here, Pisces? Right? Intense anxiety, despair, hopelessness, torment, any varying degree of that. It's not like you got to be holed up in your room for three weeks. You know, some of us process differently, right? Personally, me, I don't stay in this Nine of Swords very long. I, it, not if I can help it. I don't stay in that very long. I sit, I process, I pick myself up, and I carry on. But we all process things differently. So however long or however intense this Nine of Swords is for you, Pisces, it's any varying degree of, of what I just said, right? Depression, nightmares, intense anxiety, despair, hopelessness, and torment. What are you tormented about? The moon card, right? Fear and anxiety, right along with the Nine of Swords. Fear and anxiety. It's also about your subconscious mind and your intuition. 
So what's going on here, Pisces? Let me see. Let me see, let me see, because I haven't worked these cards out. I just lay them out, and I work them out on camera with you guys, right? So, and I lay them out ahead of time because it's just, it takes so much time to do the shuffle and the, and the whole everything, right? It just takes so much time. Once in a while, I'll put a reading out, though, that's from start to finish, from scratch, but nevertheless, that's why I do this. So, the moon card, fear, anxiety, illusion, your subconscious mind and your intuition to the high to the hierophant to the nine of pentacles what is this about oh 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 i see i see what it's about i see what it's about so the hierophant is representing in this particular placement this hierophant is representing your personal beliefs right Number one, you're seeking spiritual wisdom because you're in your subconscious mind and your intuition with the moon card because you're in the nine of swords in your mental, right? Maybe even your physical. Your intuition, your subconscious mind trying to work out your fear and your anxiety. Your fear and your anxiety is rooted in this hierophant. This hierophant is talking about, yes, seeking spiritual wisdom. But it's also talking about your personal beliefs, right? Your personal beliefs. To the nine of pentacles. This is self-sufficiency. Nine is the number of fruition and attainment. So what I think you're doing here, Pisces, is trying to figure out where you're going to go from here. Where are you going to go from here? What does the future hold for you? Where are you going? What do you believe about yourself? And what does the future hold for you, Pisces? That's why you're in the Nine of Swords. Now, you, you're in the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. You do have emotional balance and emotional security. And you do know that you know that you know that this is where you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to be doing. But you're having a, a moment of self-doubt and insecurity about how you're going to attain what you need to do, right? You also might be in this nine of pentacles right here, lamenting about bringing things to a conclusion up here, right? You could be doing that. But either way, you're in the nine of swords. You're seeking your, your, your subconscious mind, your intuition, and you're reevaluating what it is that you believe about yourself while you seek some spiritual wisdom. I'm going to get another clarifying card for this. Spirit, tell me a little bit more, please. Tell me a little bit more, please. Yep. Look, the page of pentacles manifesting new opportunities and the eight of pentacles, how it is you're going to, um, how it is you're going to, to, to earn your pentacles from this point forward, how it is you're going to create security in your life. One more tarot. Can you give me one more, one more on top of this eight of coins right here? One more on top of the eight of coins, please. One more on top of the eight of coins. Yep, soul searching and introspection. Yep, that's what you're doing, Pisces. So what has happened right here, right, is that you've gone through all of this. You've been strong. You have been strong with strength. You've been strong. You know that it's the right thing to do. You know it's the best thing for your life. You know it is It is um, going to lead you to fulfillment, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Star card, right? The lovers making choices, a realignment of values, the Ten of Pentacles, right? Chariot says you're going to go on forward. Queen of Cups says right on, on point in your emotions. But when your mental gets involved, right? Swords are not about our emotions. Swords are about our thought processes, right? So in your emotions, you're solid. But in your thought processes, you're panicking a little bit. To the moon card, right? Fear, anxiety, tapping into your subconscious, tapping into your intuition. To the hierophant, who am I now? Who am I now? What do I believe about myself? To the nine of pentacles, how am I ever going to 
how am I ever going to be a self-sufficient, independent person? How am I going to, how am I going to deal with the conclusion of this chapter of my life? Well, how you're going to deal with it, Pisces, is manifesting new opportunities in your life. How you're going to deal with it, Pisces, is you're going to fully engage and you're going to work hard and gain mastery of your, of your mental, right? You're going to pull yourself up out of this Nine of Swords energy and you are going to engage and you are going to, 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 just, to just go at it. You're just going to go at it with that Eight of Pentacles, right? The Hermit soul searching, introspection, seeking some inner guidance, right? That's what you're doing. Temperance comes in and tells me you're seeking your purpose. You're seeking what is the purpose of all of this? What is this lesson right here? What is the purpose? What's my purpose now? What is my purpose for the future? What is it that I'm going to do with myself? Well, never fear, because in this hermit energy, you come to a sense of justice. This is a truth that you speak to yourself. This is about cause and effect. Cause up here, effect down here, right? You're having a hard time in the nine of swords, in the moon, in the hermit, adjusting to what is going on in your life. But justice comes in. With the tower, like I said, truth, an epiphany, an awakening, a revelation in your life about how it is you are going to get your stability back with the four of wands. Four is the number of structure, foundation, and stability. The four of wands is about celebration, harmony in your home, in your relationships. To the eight of swords in reverse, you are breaking free right? You're open to new perspectives. You're releasing the mental of the nine of swords. You're releasing it and you are emerging as the queen of pentacles. You are emerging as the queen of pentacles. She is the epitome of personal security. She's the epitome of building life relationships, love businesses, right? She is the epitome of everything that you need to be and want to be at this particular juncture of your life. Anything else you can say here, Tarot, about the Queen of Pentacles and Pisces? Yep, look, preparing to expand your life. Preparing to expand your life. So you have a momentary panic attack, Pisces. That's what's going on right here. You have a momentary panic attack in your um in your mental you really do but you work it all out it works out you're breaking free you see the vision as to how to create stability in your life because you have it here right you're creating stability creating stability and security and and this right here is just a momentary little breakdown that you have and that's okay we all need to sit for a minute in the hermit energy preparing to expand, emerging from all of this as the queen of pentacles, right? She's the queen of money. She's the queen of security. She's the queen of family. She's the queen of love. She's the queen of, of, of building our lives. Anything else you want to say here, Tara, before I close this out? Anything you want to say here, Tara, before I close this out? Anything at all? Anything at all? No? No? Nothing? Nothing going once, going twice, S sold. All right, Pisces, let's roll these dice and see what your spiritual number of the week is. Spirit, what is the spiritual number for Pisces? What is going to help Pisces this week? Whoa, we have a five and a six. This is 11. One plus one is two. Balance duality at a crossroads. Or a choice, right? This is about insight, right? Having insight. Interesting. 
11 also, let's not forget 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, right? 11 is 1 plus 1. Ones are new beginnings, opportunities, potential, right? 5. 5 is all about instability, conflict, and loss, but it's also about an opportunity for a new change. Six is about communication, problem solving, cooperation, balance, right? Interesting. So your your spiritual number for the week is um, 11. Believe it or not, it's 11. One plus one is two. Duality, crossroads, a choice, right? One and one, and one and one and one is new beginnings, opportunity, potential drive. So there you go, Pisces. That is the overall energy of your month. All right, Pisces. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Namaste.